Hey, this is Alex at Exotic Math, and tonight I'm going to try to show you guys a different way of proving that there are an infinite number of primes. So the Riemann zeta function can be written equivalently as a product of terms involving prime numbers. That it can be written in this way is actually really cool and important, it has to do a lot with um, the significance of the Riemann zeta function in the Riemann hypothesis and the distribution of prime numbers and the proof of their equality I'm going to give in another video. Using this formulation to prove that there are infinitely many primes, I'm going to need two facts about pi. First of all, pi is irrational. Second of all, I'm going to need to use this interesting fact that pi squared over 6 can be written as an infinite sum. Now I want to proceed by proof by contradiction, so let's pretend that there are only finitely many primes. Well, if there are only finitely many primes, then we know that this product here is a rational number, right? Because each one of these is just a fraction. So if we multiply a finite number of fractions together, we're going to get another rational number. So looking at this um, pi squared over 6 and how it's written as 1 plus 1 over 2 squared, plus 1 over 3 squared, we see that this actually coincides exactly with zeta of 2, because here's this infinite sum of 1 over, you know, 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared, etc., etc., etc. Well, we know that pi is irrational, right? That's one of the things that we assumed in the beginning. So that means that here, pi squared over 6 is also irrational. So it's not in the rational numbers. But what we just said is that if there are finitely many primes, we could show that this product is a rational number. But we've shown that these are equal. And obviously, we can't have the same thing both not be in the rationals and be in the rationals. So we've reached a contradiction and proven in a different way that there are infinitely number of primes.